All right, here in the Mayweather Boxing Club with uh, Jeff Mayweather and Pauly D. You never know who's going to show up here in the club, so today we have <laughs> Pauly L. What brings you by here? That's right, I'm out here in Las Vegas. I got my fighter, Anthony Marcelo Jr. from Rhode Island. You want to be the best, you got to train with the best trains. The money team, baby. Yeah, I just saw him in there uh, sparring, uh, checking out your guy. Is he going to be here full time now? So he's amateur. We want to get him out here full time, and um, we want to get him training with the best. You got to be the Mayweather, the next Mayweather, you never know. <laughs> Is he working with Eddie Mustafa? That's what I saw in the corner. Yeah, he's working with Eddie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his plans for uh, going forward as far as professional ranks? Is he going to so, be amateur a while? He's amateur for a while right now. He's got like 75 fights. Um, we want to we wanna actually go pro one day, so see what happens. So are you, are you trying to get involved in boxing full time now? Is that going to be your thing, uh, take care of some of these guys? It's cool, man. He's like family, so we got him out here. It's the first step. Um, I love working with him. I love boxing. Big Mayweather fan, so this is the place to be. Money team. Jeff, what do you think about these new guys that come to this gym and uh, want to work here as far as compared to other places? <laughs> I think, I this is a place to be? Yeah, this is a place to be. You're not Don't biased though, are me, you? No, I'm a little biased, but, <laughs> but no, really, I mean, no. Um, if you really want to be the best, the best fighter, like you said, I mean, you need to be around you know, the best fighter in the world. So, I mean, you get a chance to come in and get a chance to see him work, you know, and hopefully pick up a little bit. You see all these different guys coming in here all the time. We have, uh, you know, get Chris Angel, uh, Travis Parker, all these guys. Jeff, what's it like when you see one of these guys? It seems like almost every day when Floyd and Cam come by here. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, Floyd's, Floyd's a big celebrity as well, so, I mean, it doesn't surprise me when I see celebrities come in. Just wanted to ask you real quick. I mean, obviously, you can't bring you here without talking about the fight, fight Paulie, with uh, Manny and Floyd. How do you see that fight going down? Uh, who do you see walking out victorious? Mayweather, baby. Got a lot of money on it. You better win this one, but he got this in the bag, man. <laughs> he got this in the bag. Uh, people, you know, obviously, it's going to be difficult getting this fight. Are you going to find your way in there somehow? I got to get there somehow. Maybe maybe we'll hook it up with some tickets, I hope. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Jeff, you, you have a big stack of them, right? You can hook them up. Yeah, yeah. I got a stack. <laughs> and they take the stack, a stack of cash. Uh, exactly. <laughs> to get them out my hands. <laughs> um, as far as the fight goes specifically, is there something, mm -hmm. I, I mean, how long, are you excited the fight's probably been made after all these years? And... Yeah, this is a long time coming. Um, Mayweather knows exactly what he's doing. So this was the time, and this is when he wanted to do it. So as far as the people saying that, oh, this should have happened a long time ago, nah, it's happening now, now's the time he's doing it. And um, I got a lot of respect for him for doing it. As far as uh, the keys to victory, I mean, do you see it the way most people do? Is it's, a, it's kind of Floyd avoiding the big power shots, and if he does, he think he'll be able to box power me? Power shots. Last <laughs> <laughs> time you had a knockout. Oh no! I ago. said that's what the people are saying. I didn't yeah, say. But I'm just saying too. Just I mean, what the people? That mean the people don't know what they're talking about then. Exactly. Well, Jeff, I know you like the way the Algeria approach the fight. It didn't quite work, but you know, ten rounds of they let him out the cage. Yeah, after 10 rounds. <laughs> yeah, once they did that, he, he was in trouble. <laughs> All right, I, I, Paul, as far as, he, since he interrupted you, I'm, what do you think as far as Manny, his chance to win? Um, I actually, I honestly think it's total domination. I think Floyd's going to dominate the entire fight. I really think he's just going to do his thing. I really do. And then do you think there's any chance that he'll get the knockout? I mean, he hasn't had many knockouts himself, but, but this fight's kind of different. You know, he's, he's been catching a lot of shit for this for years, so do you think you're going to see the best Mayweather ever here? Yeah, we are going to see the best Mayweather ever, and it's a good possibility you may see a knockout from right. my man. So are you back here just finally, you're in Vegas, you're going to stay here for a while now with your fighter, or what do you um, Yeah, I'm living out here now. I bought a house here actually like four years ago. I, I travel back and forth. Cause I got the residency at the Hard Rock now. I DJ at Rehab Pool. You right. can see me on Sundays. And, um, and every single weekend, I usually travel, and I spend, like, during the week, I spend here in Las Vegas, so. Right, so we're going to see you more in the gym, though? Yeah, I'll be in the gym a lot more. All right, great. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, real quick, you, you just mentioned where you're at. So for the mm -hmm. folks that are in Vegas visiting, where can they catch you? Or social media and that kind of stuff. What's up? It's DJ Poly D. Follow me on Twitter. It's at DJ Poly D. On Instagram, same thing, at DJ Poly D. And get you on Facebook, too. And come check me out at the Hard Rock. I'm doing Rehab Pool on Sundays. All right, man. Appreciate it. Best of luck. Cool, man. Thank you.